After months of a heated debate, you will now have more options to grab a ride to and from MSP Airport. Today, the Metropolitan Airports Commission overwhelmingly approved the new ordinance governing ride sharing. Taxi companies have long resisted the unregulated competition from ride share operators like Uber and Lyft. But through a number of compromises, new rules will now govern ride sharing services. Bill Hudson had a chance to speak with both sides of that transportation debate, mm -hmm. and he joins us now live at MSP. So, uh, Bill, a lot of changes, it sounds like. A lot of changes. They're hoping for more competition leads to better service, Frank. But like all airports across the country, MSP is no different. It's been grappling with this issue of a new mode of ground transportation in an age where passengers now have options. They have choices between conventional cabs or these upstart ride shares. For the millions of passengers who use MSP Airport, the flight is only part of the journey. It's ground transportation that gets you to and from. And we're in an era now where you can order your wheels right from your phone. They cannot take the, the airport away from us. Hatim Elbere drives for Lyft. He's one of many rideshare operators attracted by its freedom, but who will now be regulated and licensed at MSP. That is what it is. You know what I mean? We have to follow the rules. That's the bottom line. Good afternoon. Let's get started. After months of debate and public hearings, compromise rules to govern both taxi and the upstart ride shares came up for a vote. It's a policy that strikes a balance in the cost of fees, assuring passenger safety, and licensing of all drivers. We want to make sure there's safety involved, that when they get in a transportation company car, such as an Uber or Lyft or a taxi, which is already the case, we know they know who they're getting involved with. Drivers will undergo background checks. To be equitable, all rideshare rides will pay a $3 airport fee. Taxis pay it up front and then recover it over the year. Passed by unanimous vote. A group of taxi drivers thank the commission for a compromise they think is fair to everyone. At the end of the day, we got to this place where not everybody is 100% happy with everything that we have, but it's a place where we can go forward, and I believe it, it provides that opportunity for everybody involved. So they feel very good about it, calling it a very fair compromise and very equitable with both taxi cabs and uh, these rideshare operators. Now, we can tell you the ordinance is going to take effect quite soon, January 1st, and uh, commissioners are also open to any tweaks or changes that it might need to make sure they keep that equity between the two different modes of transportation. And finally, Frank, we can tell you if you have taken an Uber or a Lyft ride out here at the airport, it's going to remain in the same area for pickup and delivery for now at least. Frank? All right. Was curious about that too. Bill, uh, live at the airport, thank you.